So he will come back after he finishes the tasks. Log in with his username and password to Foresight. Just to show you, when you look at the KPIs and the asset health, there is one tag which is in progress. That's the one we have. If we go to calibration now, these are the tasks assigned to Mike. He only downloaded this one to the calibrator, which is the arrow is green. So he will connect. I already connected the device through the USB cable. Search. I will have my calibrator. OK, continue. Now. I have. A results here. So this is the range I have. I now need to receive the data from test equipment. So this will upload the data from test equipment to the PC. Again, a warning that my device is overdue. Uh, and again, to remind you, if you worry about that, you can disable that from the system management. So you can you can uh, deny or you can prevent the people from performing calibration with overdue devices from the global policies. So that's the way to get. So now here, you press on. This one is to toggle. This is to send and receive from calibrators. This is to review. Now we toggle it. We have one data to review, which is the one we just uploaded. So these are the results. The as found calibration is passed. No adjustment required. Set point, actual input, actual output, deviation, error percent, pa uh, pass or fail, uncertainty and uncertainty. Then a graph between the. So it's almost linear. But it's within the limits. So this is the graph for the error. The error is increasing, but it's not exceeding the full scale, so we are fine. Continue. So we don't have as left calibration because as found is fine. So in this case, the as found as left is considered the same. So we can copy as found and as left, or you can simply skip to summary. And the summary will show you the it's done with these devices with these. This is the pressure module. This is the genie which measures the bilimber. And this is the note we added in the calibrator successfully. I completed this calibration. This will have a digital signature for Mike at this date and this time that he performed the calibration. Again, the, another warning for the overview. So now the device is calibrated. Let's now review the calibration certificates. So our serial number, we can look by tag number, 31. You can search by serial number, but this is the device. So these are our results. And this is the trend. As we do the calibration many times, we will have a trend analysis, which will show the change in performance over time for the device. And the data is stored. No need to worry about box files, printing, etc. Everything is on the system. In case you need any certificate at any time, you select the calibration date and actions generate report. The report will be generated as per the template you have. You are eligible for a customized templates when you buy the Foresight software, it depends on the license you have. So you can have your certificate the way you want. You can have have it as a form of a label. If you want to have a label, print, label printer, you can have two templates, one as a certificate, one as a template. You can have three, one for auditor, one for internal, and one for a sticker. So it's up to you. That's the flexibility we have. So that's our report was generated as PDF. So here is the report. As we said, it's fully customizable, but this is a demo version we have. So that's the way we perform the calibration adjustment documenting using a heart, uh, uh, sorry, using a genie, which has calibrator and heart plus foresight software. 
Thank you very much. And please feel free to put your questions in the comment section below or reach out for a price quotation. Thank you once again.